guys i found a person who can help us how to switch a career into sales force from scratch so if you are not interested in coding or you are bored of your present profile then this video is going to help you out because this person has covered each and everything in this video the resources how to learn sales force how to switch your career what exactly we do in sales force and these are the all information which we were looking for to become a sales force developer and do we really need coding skills to become a sales force developer or sales force developer do they really code every day so let's find out this profile in detail today what exactly a sales force developer do so and now you are the right person to answer all my questions i'm, I'm just the person i'm learning now uh, i know like i know just the basics of that stuff basics yeah, but just, at yeah. least yeah at least you have started your journey so let's get started let me know like what exactly a sales force developer and where do you use when do we use this this kind of sales force development in our industry so where do we exactly use it what is the application in the industry and what exactly it is yeah sales force is generally about uh, cloud based here it's about generally about customer relationship management yeah, it's basically about uh, managing customer data that's it you can able to like uh, uh, in an application you have like various users like uh, and able to generally manage the data that's it now first understand crm what is crm crm software helps companies stay connected with their customers customer relationship management that is crm is a technology for mapping all the company's relationship and interaction with the customers it provide streamlined processes and improve profitability we'll discuss about the profitability later on first understand how salesforce comes into picture salesforce was one of the first cloud computing companies in 1999 it provides crm software what was unique about it salesforce started delivering its software through internet browser instead of company hosted servers which reduces building installation maintenance and customer cost xyz stuff over 150000 companies run salesforce in some form like contact management customer engagement workflow creation task management opportunity tracking and many more salesforce supports a lot of industry including healthcare retail manufacture media government transportation automation what industry it does not support it has it is covering a lot of industry what else why companies are choosing salesforce that's a question companies have seen a remarkable increase in the cons- customer satisfaction sales revenue and their growth by using this software so now it's time to see how you can build your career in the fastest growing and long lasting technology like salesforce so basically if i am a new to salesforce i want to learn then exactly from which resource i should start learning it from scratch railhead 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 is an application and it is also available in play store and ios okay okay uh so you can create an account and uh, you can learn from the basics about salesforce like what is salesforce what are objects relationships everything you could learn about everything and you can do uh, assignments to gain knowledge mm. uh, challenges to complete them they they also give points when you complete those challenges mm. and uh, like you should apply for uh, the exam uh, through online uh, so that you may attend the exam in online uh, it will be based on mcqs full and full based on mcqs uh, okay. you should score about 60 or 70% Uh, so that you would be salesforce certified like you are a salesforce administrator like or a salesforce developer you would be certified like based oh. on the completed assignments or modules you would uh-huh. be uh, certified oh is that so is, it, is it a company's website official website yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, oh. official salesforce website. that's really great actually i don't have to rush here and there right only a single website yeah, yeah. i can uh, you know read it and i can clear the test and i will be salesforce certified developer that's good yeah, yeah. that's great so you also completed the same way yeah i'm now working on my certification yeah, yeah. 
yeah that's great i haven't uh, i haven't uh, i haven't taken on any exams but i'm working on oh nice 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 so uh, actually i've seen in linkedin people are doing very frequent certification on salesforce so what exactly is that so uh, this is what i said like salesforce developer or salesforce yeah so it, it is uh, compulsory to complete like every year two year or three year what this, that certification will help how it will help you uh the certification will help you to get better projects in your company acha like better, better projects ah uh, got it got it right. okay i understood okay so how much coding is there in salesforce if i am a non coder then yeah i am also basically a non coder oh. i also have a basic knowledge in java uh, <laughs> you have a bit a little bit of coding uh, in salesforce it's called an apex language similar to java uh, java similar syntax will also be used there Mm-hmm. Like similar syntaxes, mm-hmm. uh, they were they will be used basically on developing part only. Mm-hmm. Coding will be based on only on developing part. Uh, uh, where you have to trigger some mails to based on your app. Uh, uh, where you have to trigger some mails to your users, like based on your uh, created uh, workflow rules. So that so that's why the, on that part only you use to. Oh. Okay, okay. So coding is less, right? If I, if a non-coder yeah, yeah. would like yes. to, <laughs> would like to switch the com- switch the career. Yeah. So yeah. means I can switch yeah. it. If I have a non-coder not interested in coding, I can take the course. I can learn it, get certification, and I can switch my career easily. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. How did you get this profile? You are a fresher, right? I just yeah, I am a fresher. I just uh, I just randomly applied for everything, like every uh, uh, for uh, i didn't um, apply to much uh, all the other companies like i just tried a few of them uh, and it got to me that's it. oh okay and um, that was also based on your videos your videos are really i'm going to yeah. put this in. see guys this is not paid <laughs> he is well <laughs> telling that no, i no. held him really really i want to say that uh, it was very your youtube videos are so useful my campus exam preparations oh like, really uh, thank you so your much your self introduction videos and uh, like uh, the coding part and java part <clears throat> huh. like you asked the topics to cover right so that the i covered those topics are yeah i just blankly to cover those topics uh, those self introduction parts you said i just corrected myself uh, along that uh, for job offers i applied and uh, i got them because uh, I just have a basic knowledge about the coding. I just had a basic knowledge about Java. Uh, my interview so interview was also like based on these only like basic interview questions about Java. And uh, in Salesforce, uh, I was asked after uh, getting selected in Salesforce, you know, right? I was asked to prepare for various modules. Uh, I was asked to work on various assignments, uh, like weekly deadline or monthly deadline basis, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Uh, i was also asked to work on a, I, i was asked to develop a project like i was asked to develop a application in salesforce um uh, ask a de- yeah. to develop a project means like um, from scratch yeah. yeah not from the scratch like a uh, business application like basic yeah. work in workflow like mm-hmm. workflow design that's it yeah. based on the modules and the assignments that that i studied okay in, i yeah, i yeah. got it Probably this time. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, so basically, uh, my uh, next question would be: I mean, um, uh, the interview was same as any other interview. That's what you are saying. No, uh, my interview about uh, I was just selected for uh, other the job uh, in Salesforce domain. My interview was different. Like I was asked about the Salesforce basic hmm. questions. based on the modules and assignments that i that i studied and i was uh, i was preparing based on that uh, my interview was possible okay so you got the training then you yeah. uh, means then internal there was an interview for salesforce and uh, there you uh, cleared the salesforce interview that's what yeah and yeah thank you for joining me